Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I am very excited to be bringing to you some of the hottest Amazon stuff that I've ever, ever, ever found. I've done a couple of these favorite Amazon or Amazon favorites <laughs> on my channel. So I will link them down below as well as up top here if you wanna check out any of my other Amazon essentials. But this is really exciting because this is gonna be entirely kind of travel themed. Believe it or not, most of you watching this video will be traveling somewhere in the next year, whether that's international or domestic or just a like a road trip um, in the, to a nearby town, you're still gonna be traveling and you're gonna find something here for you that's gonna interest you. And this stuff is mind blowing. This stuff is like game changing stuff and you happen to be able to get it within two days, prime shipping. It's incredible, let's get started. For my plain aficionados out there, let's start off with something you haven't seen before. Okay, are you ready for this? Cause this is not gonna be your typical like toiletry pouch type of situation. Although there is a really good TSA toiletry pouch in today's video. This is the Flight Flap Pro. Now what this is, is basically it comes like this, nice and straight, but you can bend it and, and conform it into different configurations so that you can watch movies from your phone or your tablet from the seat in front of you. So you know using that tray and all that stuff, like trying to like buy, find a case that has a kickstand or try and prop your phone up onto a book or you know some sort of can of Coke or something, whatever you're trying to do, it's really uncomfortable when you're watching movies like this. What you wanna do is keep field of view like kind of right at eye level, right? You wanna watch the movie at eye level as if you had one of those built-in screens. Some, some planes don't have them, especially on domestic flights. So that's where this really comes in handy. I love this because this just slots. It's so, it's so lightweight, but it just, and so thin, but it just slots right into your carry-on. You don't even have to think about it. You can even just leave this into your typical carry-on bag that you always take for the seat in front of you or whatever, like under the seat in front of you. Just bring this because you will never regret a time that you have it, but you'll regret the times so that you don't have it. It is so genius. They do come in a bunch of different, I think as another size for specifically for like large iPads, but this one works just well with like iPad mini, a regular phone, um, any other kind of tablet, like a normal size tablet, totally fine. I think if you have like the giant, like art sized t uh, iPad Pro or something that may not cut it, it could, but it may not. So anyway, this is amazing and you can get it on Amazon. Everything will be linked down below as well as for multiple different countries. So don't worry, it's okay if you don't live in the US. I got you, okay, I got you. Next up, we have some really, really amazing, this is a Hero product and I'm not just saying that because it has Hero in the name. It's the Hero Clip. Have you ever heard of this, guys? So this was actually developed by a mom who found it really frustrating while traveling with her kids, but she didn't have something that was kind of an all-purpose hook that she could use for multiple different things. So she developed the Hero Clip. So this is really interesting and it's sold on Amazon. You can get it with the Prime shipping. And basically what you can do is use this as like a carabiner, normal carabiner, the kind of thing that you can like stick onto your, a loop onto your backpack or onto your luggage or whatever and carry whatever you want on it. So you can carry your water bottle or what, what have you. And I do have something coming up that you'll see that you can hook up to this, which is amazing. But here's the really cool part. It also unswivels, let me, let me show you. So it looks like a normal carabiner, right? But it also can unswivel. You can actually just kind of pop this out and it can act as a like purse hanger or bag hanger from a table. You can also use it to add an extra bag onto your rolling luggage, your rolling carry-on luggage to hold your purse or your backpack or whatever. And I'll insert a picture of what that looks like. But this is, what size is this? The medium size? This is the medium size. They also have a smaller size and like, a, they have a bunch of different sizes. Don't quote me on that. This one is, they have three sizes. This one is the small and I think they have a mini. So I think it's medium, small, and mini. And this one, it kind of tells you when you're ordering it on Amazon, like what, what each size is best for. This would be like the add a bag size or hang it from um, your table in the airport so that your bag doesn't touch the airport floor type of scenario. And then this would be for you know your water bottle formula, um, whatever you wanna do to like kind of keep um, handy access. Uh, a diaper clutch just to kind of clip that onto your, I mean, it's not just for parents, okay? This is just really handy in general. And then they have a really small one 
which I would guess is just for really, really small things. Helpful, Christina. Way to go. Also, if you're watching this video on your phone through the YouTube app, there's something that I wanted to share with you to make your life easier because I found that whenever I would watch these Amazon videos, it got a little frustrating because it would open up a new browser window and then I wouldn't be signed in. And so it would just kind of like take time and it was really cumbersome. So what I recommend that you do is you either, I'm gonna show a screen here. What you do is you click on the link and as you're clicking on the link, this browser window is gonna pop up if you're, especially if you're on an iOS device and you click on the bottom right hand corner where it has the little Safari icon, it will open up a new window and either one of those windows should bring you um, a little drop, a little kind of banner at the top that says open in the Amazon app. If you click that, it's gonna open up the link straight away into the app, which is very helpful because you're already signed into the app, you already got your shopping cart there, every, you got your, you're got logged into your Prime account, it's just so much easier. And if you don't have the app, at least if you open, push that open in Safari button, then usually your Safari, if that's what you use on your iOS device, should have you already logged in. Whereas that first window that initially pops up, you won't necessarily be logged in. So just something to help you out because I know that can be kind of frustrating and you don't wanna to have to sit there and like keep switching back and forth and like logging in. So that's what I do whenever I watch Amazon favorites videos and I do buy a lot of things from Amazon, watching Amazon favorites videos. It's just a really nice way to like get some nice hacks for your daily life. And hopefully if you are finding these travel hacks uh, helpful in today's video, then you'll smash that like button. I would love to see if you like this type of video because I will make more videos like this if you like these. So definitely hit that like button if you're enjoying it. And if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. All right, I did allude to something that you could hang on to your hero clip, more specifically, probably the small one. And that is this. You're probably like, what the heck is this? I don't know. What could it be? It's, well, let me show you. Prepare to have your mind blown, y'all. It's a water bottle. It's a collapsible water bottle. Now I searched, let me tell you, the amount of research I did into collapsible water bottles was endless on Amazon. There are so many different options, but I did the testing for you. I did the research, I did the testing. This is the best one. Why? Because this requires the least amount of effort. It doesn't look the weird, it doesn't look super strange. It has structure in the inner part, which a lot of these like roll up silicone bag like water bottles don't have. And I just don't know how that's stable. It just doesn't seem very stable. And it's, it doesn't seem sleek to me. I wanted sleek, I wanted sophisticated, I wanted good design. This is good design. So basically it has this ring in the inside here. So you can hold it and it, it maintains its, its structure and its function, it's BPA free. It has metal ring and plastic on the bottom, a metal ring and plastic here, and a nice wide mouth opening so you can drink from it. It's great. It's just a great design. So what you do is once all of the water is gone, you just plop it down and then you hook this little silicone top back on and that's it. I mean, that's your, that's your collapsible water bottle. Why would you want this, for example? Because airport water is very expensive. They know, thanks to the TSA, that you can't bring your own water bottle in uh, from the outside, so they count on you like hurriedly chugging your water, dumping it in the trash just before security, and then going and buying another overpriced bottle of water. Not only is this wasting you money, but it's also bad for the environment because now you're just putting another extra piece of plastic into the environment and into our oceans. So for the price of one overpriced bottle of water, you can have this and you can fill it up at many of the convenient water bottle filling stations that most airports have nowadays. So this is the one you want. For all my content creators, Instagrammers, business people, anybody who works with a lot of tech, batteries, memory cards, cables, and just needs a little bit of organization in your life, I gotta say, this is the best tech pouch that I've ever seen. And if you want something a little bit more sleek and kind of compact, this is a really good one. The first one is the Peak Design. They come in two colors. This is the sage color, but it also comes in black. And this one is the one from Nomad. I have a couple other products 
No, I'm sorry, this is from Native Union. We'll link both of these down below, but I just can't say enough about having a good dedicated tech pouch because once you have everything that you live and work out of, you can throw this from bag to bag and you know like you're not missing this charger cable or this battery or this extra SD card or this battery charger. Like it's all in there. My power bank is in here. All of my different possible cables is in here. Like. USB-A to USB-C, USB-C to USB-C, USB-C to Lightning. It's just all in here. There's even slots for pens. So when you're traveling internationally and you need to fill out a customs form, you know you have it because it's in your tech pouch. So this one is the best design that I've come across and I'll tell you why. It's because it has so many different compartments. There's like 35 different compartments in here. I didn't actually check, but there are zippers. There are little tiny, um, stretchy compartments to just securely hold an SD card or two and there's multiples of those. There's just a lot of organization and I like that no matter how much you stuff it, if it fits in the pocket, it will close. So it just has that that structure, that form and function. The only thing I would say if Peak Design, if you're watching this, which you're not, I would say could you please add a second zipper because I would love to be able to just like, like unzip it from the middle from two and just grab something and then zip them back up. I think the whole like one zip around is a little bit inconvenient. That would be my only gripe, literally the only gripe because otherwise this is amazing. It even has a little, little handle there and a handle there apparently so you can grab it from either end. Let's continue with tech. I don't actually know if these are available on Amazon, so I'm gonna cheat here a little bit, but I just had to show this to you guys because I think it's really, really helpful. These two cables are pretty much all you ever need in your life. You probably don't even need this one if you don't have an iPhone. You would only need this one. So these two cables alone, kind of a splurge, but they are made from Kevlar on the inside and out. They're braided cables. This is an extra long one. How useful is that? The first one is what I purchased is a USB-C to lightning cable. And what this will do is allow me to connect and charge my Apple iPhone 11 Pro because it uses a USB-C to lightning cable, but this is just gonna last forever. Actually, the cable will last longer than Apple's lightning port will because I hear that the lightning port is going away. Not anytime soon, but it will be. The next one is this longer version of the uh, USB-C to USB-C cable. Now this is great for MacBook charging, iPad Pro charging, any Samsung Android device usually uses a USB-C now and they usually have USB-C to USB-C connections. But if you don't and you're unsure or you wanna use a cable for more than one purpose, it this one is the universal version. So you can connect one side and have a little adapter for the USB-A, which is kind of like your standard USB port. You can you can hook this on and it stays attached. So you don't have to fiddle with little adapters and stuff and remember which one you brought. It's just attached to the cable. You can use it or not use it, right? And this one is USB-C and there's also a micro USB there. So I that's really useful for like charging a GoPro or charging um, a power bank. Usually they use these little micro USB. So you have everything in one cable. It's amazing. I wish everyone in, in Everyone that is watching this, I wish that you would have one of these because you will always have the right port if you have this cable. And then if you happen to need a lightning cable like I do because I'm an iPhone user, then this is also helpful. It's just an added expense. All right, I'm ready to blow your mind with a little bit more yellow than you've already been seeing in this, <laughs> in this video. I'm sorry, it's a lot of yellow. I'm having a moment apparently. This is the most amazing travel wallet. I actually, this comes in like 45 different colors. I picked the yellow because it's easy to see in your bag, but you could get anything from like two different shades of mint green to two different shades of gray and black. And basically they look like these Safiano textured wallets and it's like an envelope style wallet. It's rather large. It's meant to hold your passport, your boarding pass, and let me show you. It comes even with a little packing guide. It has little compartments for credit cards or business cards. Here's more compartments for credit cards, a space for your ID, and I think even, I actually don't know what that's for. I'll have to look that up. I don't know what this little slot is for, but it might be another like memory card thing or something. I'm not really sure. It has a zippered compartment for loose change. It has stuff to hold your uh, different types of currency. I mean, there's so many pockets, there's so much organization in here um, that 
it's just wonderful. You can even fit a large iPhone in here, which is pretty amazing. It's just a really nice and well thought out wallet. And the nice thing is like when you're, you know where if you have this, that everything is in your hand and you're not like fumbling around for your passport. Like which pocket of my bag did I put my passport in? And then you start to sweat a little bit cause you're, you're rapidly approaching the customs line and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, where's my passport? you don't have to worry because you put it all in here. And if you can see this bright yellow wallet, you know that you've got what you need. And the second thing is what I have in it, which is this tiny, cute, little, itty bitty baby travel pen. Cute, it's like a little baby unicorn. Like, can you even see it on camera? It's so small, I love it. Oh my God, it comes in a pack of two, it comes with refills and it's called the Narwhal. So yeah, there's that. It's so cute and it fits right in this little pen loop pocket. So especially for international travel, you've got your pen, you've got your passport, you know, on those little US customs forms, you have to fill out your passport number and you, so you need to take out your passport. At the same time, you've got your pen right there. You don't have to, be, I've been that person that has been like, I don't have a pen. Does anyone have a pen? There was one time where like nobody on the plane had a pen extra and so we were just literally like passing it down like seat by seat and like starting to break out on a sweat and we were so we were like landing we're like oh my god is it gonna get to me in time to treat yourself to something to help you sleep on the plane especially if you're gonna be sleeping in a cramped economy seat and it's a red eye flight or it's an overhaul overhaul no <laughs> overnight long haul flight <laughs> let's call them overhauls why not you can't do any better than getting yourself treating yourself to a really nice eye mask and the really cool thing about this is that silk is really good for your hair and your skin because it doesn't tug for me i have lash extensions and you really don't want to be using something that can be as um, abrasive as even cotton um, they just they're they're gonna they have these like microscopic uh, texture um, in the weave of these these fabrics that will actually kind of pull, tug at your skin or your hair or your eyelash extensions so you want to go with something like a silk mask and this one for as much as it's hyped up, it really, it really is nice. I particularly liked this color. I like it because it has little mask, it has little lashes on it. So, so this is the mask. It's so soft. Like you just, you want to wear pajamas made by them. Do they make pajamas? That would be amazing. Or does anyone know or recommend of any good, preferably Amazon silk pajamas, because that would be amazing. But anyway, this is what they look like. And they come in a bunch of different colors. They don't all have lashes on them. So they're not like all, there's like a definitely a discreet version or one for men or whatever. There's black ones and um, all sorts of different colors. But I really like that this band is not super tight. It'll fit any head size or any hairstyle you can possibly think of. And I feel that that's really nice that it's just, it's just a nice little thing to throw in your, in your carry on. And you know, you know that you can pop the, this on, pop in some Bose sleep buds or some noise canceling headphones and you are like literally blocking out the world. You're not even on a plane anymore. And that to me is worth the extra price that it takes to get this in your hand. All right, let's move back over to another tech product. And that is this. Now this is something that you might wanna store in your check-in bag because it is on the heavier side. Now, if you're someone who has like, you, you're gonna be traveling and you're gonna need your MacBook Pro brick charging brick, your iPad Pro charging brick, your iPhone charger, and all these power bricks, and you're like, why? Why do I need to take three pounds worth of, of power bricks, charging bricks, to hook up for each individual device? I got you. This is genius. For about the same weight as a normal laptop power brick, even the, the new MacBook Pros, which are bigger and larger and heavier, than their predecessors. This is the same weight, pretty much the same size, but it has USB-C, two USB-C ports with power delivery. One is an 18 watt, which is appropriate enough for fast charging an iPhone 11 Pro, any iPhone 8 or, or later, but you get the fast charging benefit for iPhone 8s and up. And you can also use this for an iPad Pro or iPad, iPad mini. It's kind of like that bigger, larger brick that you're used to. And then there is a 90 watt charger, which is appropriate enough to charge a MacBook Pro, which is insane. You can hook up your USB-C cable, including like this one that I just mentioned, and you're like good to go. You can hook everything up with this. With this combo, you can charge pretty much any device out there. On top of that, you have 
some USB-A ports and they are the higher amp. Anyway, they're the fast charging version of the USB-A ports in case you have a cable that you need to use that has USB-A. Don't worry, it's got you covered. This is not a hub for data transfer, so it's not gonna be something that you hook up to like add extra ports to your computer. This is just for it's basically a power brick with a bunch of different options for you. And you only have to take one, which is amazing. And then you could hook this up to an adapter if you're traveling internationally and you should have no issues with that. Let me see if it's dual voltage, yes. So all you need is an adapter, you don't need a converter. It's really nice. Moving on, let's go with something pretty classic, pretty stereotypical, but hear me out. This TSA toiletry bag, this, if you don't know, if you don't live in the US, anytime you travel to or from the United States, you have to put all of your liquids, three ounces and under, you can, you can only carry, for in your carry-on, three ounces and under has to go in a clear quart size TSA approved, carry, whatever, clear bag, okay? So it used to be we just used a quart size Ziploc, but that doesn't really have like gussets and, TSA has um, updated their guidelines so that you can have, like there's certain dimensions that you can have for a clear bag. You can't just take any clear bag and stuff it with 25 different three ounce bottles of shampoo and what have you. It can only be a certain size. And I found this one to be the most luxurious, the most durable, and meets the, the exact requirements without going under. So some of these will play it safe and will just like kind of go undersize the TSA requirements. And this one does exactly on the dot the exact measurements for the TSA guidelines and it has these nice gussets so you can really pack some bottles in there which is really really nice and it is um, made by a company that is known for their leather products so it has leather piping around all of the this comes in a million different colors I just liked white because it's kind of a classic and it has leather band across the top here. It has a really nice YKK zipper. So some of these toiletry bags you're gonna find on Amazon will have this cheap ass zipper that you know is gonna break within a few uses. This has a genuine YKK zipper, which is kind of the cream of the crop and costs like an extra, it, co it costs extra for manufacturers to use this like patent or something. I don't know the exact specifics. It also has a snap loop here. So you can just grab it, use it as a handle. This is amazing because I can fit so much more in this toiletry pouch than I could with my previous versions. And I have a lot. Like I have an entire drawer full of clear TSA approved um, pouches. And I'm just getting rid of all of them because this is the best one and it's the most durable and it's the m most well-made one. And it's just, there's some craftsmanship involved. It came in this beautiful presentation box, which I mean, that's crazy. It's just a, it's just a TSA clear travel, like toiletry bag, but it came in a beautiful presentation box. It was almost like opening up a Smithson diary. You know what I mean? It was just, it was a really nice experience. And it just goes to show it comes from a company that is focused on their manufacturing process process and leather and non-leather goods. So yeah, really, really appreciate the attention to detail and durability with this pouch. And I'm really glad I found it because I had to go through, I had to kiss a lot of frogs to find the perfect toiletry pouch. So again, you're welcome. You can't go wrong with a silk mini scrunchie. So this is gonna help your hair. Like if you get a like a headache from your hair being pulled too tight for too long, especially when you're traveling, this is really helpful. I really, really like these. I found nothing works as good as a good silk scrunchie, but I find the thicker ones a little bit too 80s. It's a little bit too, it's a look that I don't always wanna have. Like sometimes I just want a discreet little hairband. So this one has this beautiful bronze color, the black and then a polka dot black and white. Listen, you can't go wrong with this. It doesn't pull or snag your hair. You don't get a headache when you use it. It holds all of the hair. And I mean, if someone with my fine hair can wear this without it slipping out, I know it can hold your hair. All right, this is not an Amazon purchase, but I just gotta show you this because it's so good for travel, you guys. These are the Roav sunglasses. Now you guys know from a previous vlog, which I'll link up here, that I had been interested in finding some folding Ray-Bans. And I found they're either just really hard to find or they just didn't have a good selection of styles. Like I just didn't really care for any of the styles. And the case that they come in is actually quite 
thick. Like it's it's a folding case and it's smaller than a normal sunglasses case, but it's it's still like a it's a good size. And there's no real protection involved from traveling with them. They are still as breakable, if not more breakable, with more moving parts and screws than a normal pair of sunglasses. So I looked to Roav and I went ahead and and splurged on a pair. These are not cheap sunglasses, but I will link some really good folding sunglasses on Amazon. I have not tried them myself, but I almost bought them. I just didn't want to spend the money to buy those if I was since I had already bought these, but I literally almost put the, pulled the trigger on these Amazon ones. They're an they're like a legit brand and they make these like basically Ray-Ban dupe folding wayfarers. So I will link those down below for you again for multiple countries. But let me show you the row apps because you they in the videos on their website, they show that, that someone is driving over the sunglasses. So there's no moving parts, like all of the hinges, they're like machined hinges and everything is metal and glass and they all come polarized. So you don't have to pay extra for a polarized version. And there's just no, I don't know how they do it, but there's no screws anywhere. So these are basically the Clubmaster version of the Roav sunglasses, and they're just a polarized like jet black. They come in a million different colors, a million different styles. I will leave the website down below. Um, the only thing you have to get used to is that they're kind of like flat in the front, so you know you might see more of your face from this side. But I think they have like quite a bit of attitude and they're just kind of a classic look. They're like a classic shape, they're a classic look. I really, I really enjoy them. I'm really glad that I went ahead and spent the money on a pair of sunglasses. And you just fold them down like this, pop those down, pop them like this. And look at this. I mean, this can go in your back pocket. That is really small. That's sunglasses. In my hand is a pair of sunglasses. That looks really nice. I think it's genius. I love genius design and this definitely fits the bill. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed anything in this video, would you hit the thumbs up button for me? I would really appreciate it. And even if you're on your TV, there is a way that you can thumbs up videos on your TV. Just go down into the little settings or other or whatever, just like use your little, use your cursor to go down to the little three dot option and it will show you ways that you can subscribe from this straight from this video on your TV or you can hit the thumbs up straight from your TV. If you're watching this on your app or your desktop, I would really appreciate smashing that like button. Leave a comment down below also with what your favorite thing from today's video was. If there's anything you feel like you're gonna be buying in the future that you are interested in purchasing or that you already purchased, let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to know what your favorites are and like what appeals to you guys the most. And then thank you again for watching. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend some time with me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your support. So um, I hope to make more videos like this for you guys in the future. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.